Hello there, and welcome to the final episode of our first playthrough of Terraria 1.4. Now, you might see this my inventory is quite filled to the brim with different things and items and little things that we need to do. And uh, the first thing I want to do is to get uh, a kill on the Age of Worlds. So, the plan for today is to go get all of the other trophies, as I have went ahead and created spots for other tro for the other trophies down here. I think I created too many, but I'm not too sure. I've also put up all, all the armors, the other two armors that we had, which were Hallowed and Spooky, and I made a slot for the Stardust armor. I've also went ahead and gotten all the swords. Well, most of the swords. We are missing the horseman blade and the. Ah, uh, there's one more. That we need to get from where? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, and then here was okay. It's gonna be nice and all. Oh yeah, the star raft. Duh. That's why I have the celestial sigils in here. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. And that's pretty much it. Also trying out the Frostmon for the first time on this, in this playthrough. This should work. Yep, it does. Nice. Just, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> how are you guys doing? <laughs> wow, poor uh, Eater of Worlds. And that's that. And I'll go back home. Oh yeah, I forgot I put in. Uh, I put a spawn in there. What? Of course the meteorite lands. Why wouldn't it? And we put the world's relic in here. Nice. Ah, oh, that's one relic down. We got a bunch more to go. Oh, we also have a warm scarf now. But the thing is, I'm not really going to use it. But I'm gonna keep it because it might be useful later down the line so now what i want to do is i want to get the pumpkin one during the next night but now let's hopefully get some uh, mundor kills and maybe pray that we get the star wrath yeah i've also gotten the sdmg to unreal and i'm not sure if i'm gonna redo reforge any of the other items that we have currently so I'm, I'm gonna think about it so you have spawn point in there boom boom i really i i know what i need to get quickly like asap it's come on one of you and two of you i forgot about this i always forget about it boom boom And spawn everything else. And we should be able to do this. Damn, I got three plants. Yeah, I had to kill a bunch of planteras for the seedler, which, for one reason or, or another, um, both times I had to get it for my playthroughs, it was so annoying to get. I did not react in time. I, I pressed 2 instead of 3 because I wanted to teleport on the other side, but I pressed uh, 2 for the SDMG instead of 3. <sighs> well, that's one down. I reckon only, we only have like one more. And the funny part is that we need a certain drop from him, so... Uh, That's a problem. Like a very big problem, because we need the... Uh, I think worst case scenario, if we don't get it here... Uh, I'm gonna sleep. We're gonna do the Pumpkin Moon to get the uh, Horseman Blade. Which, if I recall correctly... I'm, I'm gonna take a look after we're done with this. But I really think we don't have a Horseman Blade. Because I wasn't really paying attention to getting it when we did the... Uh, 
pumpkin one last time because I didn't really think I would want to have the zenith as we're doing a summoner playthrough in essence. So yeah, it's the finale guys. We're pretty much set for uh, when it comes to being a summoner. We don't really need to get the zenith at all, realistically speaking. The only thing I would kind of want to get uh, would be the um, what what you call it. I need to be careful here. I also need to not go too high. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, come on! Okay, let's go. Where is she? Why did she move? Come on! Ah, this is so annoying when he deals 200 damage a hit. <sighs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to sleep. We're going to do the Pumpkin Moon, and then I'll uh, form the Star Wrath off camera. Because uh, to form the first Star Wrath, I need to kill the uh, the cultists to do the whole event again. To have like two or three chances to kill the uh, to kill the Moon Lord. So yeah, I wanna. So do we not have one? No, we don't. So we need, we all, we all need to do the uh, the pumpkin. Anyway, I'll, I'll see when uh, nighttime comes around. Actually, let's do pirates until then. Do I need anything? Not really. I don't even need the bullets. So yeah, we also need to do to do, to do pirates, which hopefully will spawn up here. Uh, so that, that, and let me spawn my Terra Prismas. <sighs> I still can't believe that we did uh, Moon Lord first try. That's still... I still remember that fight, and it, I just still can't believe it. Come on, pirates, could you please spawn faster? Because I really... Uh, I believe this video, this episode will be a bit longer. I might split it into two parts, but upload them at the same time. I'm unsure about that, so, but and I will I will see and think about it. Oh, I, I need to be careful. Anyway, the only thing we need from these guys is the um, the Dutchman uh, trophy, the relic that Dutchman gives. That's all we need from this these guys. So we kind of need to like clean them quickly, get through the mana ASAP. Though it doesn't really matter how slow or fast uh, this happens, because we still need to wait till uh, till night time to actually do something more productive. Hello and goodbye. It was nice and uh, knowing you. Oh. We got a golden ring. I don't know, we don't really need the circles and stuff. Uh, yeah. Why does he spawn like on camera? Oh, there's, there's a flying Dutchman. Uh, the black spot, sorry, never mind. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have any more potions. Oh god. Oh, we also got... Uh, a trophy, nice. Uh, okay, I'll uh, see you guys uh, when night starts. Okay, there are a couple seconds left before night time, and we'll need to do a pumpkin moon. There's a possibility that I might speed it up or leave it uh, as is. Also, I think I'm only going to do this until I get the uh, 
Okay, we need to be careful actually, because those guys can get in there and I don't want them to. I think I'm only going to do this until I get what I need, which is the horseman blade. Because I honestly don't need anything else. Oh. Okay, never mind. The nurse is down. Uh, good, to, good to know. I forgot that there are way more enemies that can go through walls in here. And here comes Pumpkin. Oh no. I also forgot. I I, uh, I forgot to keep account on deaths, uh, like in the episode itself. I died like two times before the episode as I was trying to kill Pantera and stuff. Uh, I don't really want to die in episode. Ouch. That's a dark harvest, really? Ouch. Away as they're they're not useful to me. Wasn't there? I heard like pumpkin. Maybe I hit. Uh, ouch! Ouch! Heal and then get some heals. Nice. We got the relic for that as well. In case we don't have them, but if I recall correctly, we should have the relics for. Uh... Let me keep a bit of a uh, distance from this this guy. So I can get the, the full heal afterwards. There's a lot of stuff on the ground. Oh, that guy deals a lot of damage. I don't need or want to get to a very far... Uh, nope. A very far round. Why did I lose a lot of HP on all of a sudden? When I, if I recall correctly, I took a bunch of uh, like a heal. Drop nothing. Oh, I dropped dust. Really? Huh. Like it's no big deal if I die because I would spawn in the exact same place. So that's that. Of course, you spawn right in front of me. Come on, horseman blade. Or bad stuff? Wow. They literally drop everything but what I actually need, which is fun. And my nose is itchy. Ah. The worst possible moment. So now it's only these guys and pumpkin. Oh yeah, we're right 15 over. <laughs> oh god. I see the horseman blade. Now the problem is I need to actually get it. Because I cannot... Uh... Is my... Mm... Where is it? Please tell me you're filled. Yes! And I... 400 is... Hmm. Well, we died. Nice. <sighs> I know my MPC still died. The wizard and who else? Demolitionist. Oh, if I recall quickly, you get like one day of Halloween if you, if you get to wave 15, right? Okay. Where is the sword? Here it is. <laughs> Relics, wow. The Horseman Blade. So now, the final item that we need for the Zenith, which is going to give us a huge advantage when it comes to, well, pretty much 
everything and anything is going to be the star ass which as i said i will go on ahead and farm for it off camera because i don't just wanna you know just die a bunch of times and then uh have to redo the event over and over so that's pumpkin and that's morning wood okay we got these two so i can sell them i'm gonna go ahead sell my stuff and uh get the sword and i will see you after that <sighs> okay guys jesus i'm back mm. that took uh took a while i uh had to do the event like two times and yeah i, I did like on three of the tries if i recall correctly because i had to do like the event in between so i don't remember exactly i'm gonna look back onto the uh recording because i did record that but i don't think i'm gonna put it in the video because that's it's just a lot of oh yeah i died like a bunch of times to the solar pillar mm. yeah i'm gonna have to take a look and see that that's in there they're gonna be on screen currently the total current of the the current death counter but in the end we managed to get the star wrath and we can craft the zenith Boom. Sluggish. Damn, I haven't used this in it in a long, long time. Ah, uh, there's a nice spot up there for it. Now, I'm gonna reforge it. Come here, come here. Pointy, forceful, small. Nasty, deadly, agile, quick, shoddy. Pleasant damage, tiny, terrible, heavy, quick, no, come on, I think we are not going to get it. Never mind, hello there legendary Zenith, we literally have everything with the best in hand, uh, with the best to reforge, other than the flame burst cane and the lightning oa cane. Which, actually, there's a desert tiger stuff as well. How much do you... Oh, never mind. Okay. So now, we will need to go on ahead and get uh, ourselves to do the frost moon. But, first things first, let me go ahead and do uh, Old One's Army Tier 3. Yep. Our first time doing Tier 3 Old One's Army. Which is going to be literally a, at the maximum end game, like as end game as you as one can be, because we also have the zenith. But uh, eh, who cares? Am I right? Actually, I should place down my uh, my turrets and stuff. Look at them! Look at them! How much damage does this thing do? It does 230 damage for a melee weapon on a class that has nothing to do with melee. That's say, quite fun. Okay, let's put uh, aura canes down here. Oh, I have only six. That means there's some more uh, left here. And uh, we're gonna leave the aura canes, and we at least in the early ways. And we're gonna. Where's my? Shouldn't I have ten now? Did some fall off? Yeah, they, they did. But it's only one. Oh, I forgot we're tier three. There's like stuff earlier when it comes to protecting a uh, closer end from aerial stuff I think our best bet is to really just stay here and do this I know it's kind of boring because there's no real challenge at least yet I think the most challenging wave will be the Betsy wave because it's going to be the one which has uh, you know, all the all, all those enemies alongside Betsy herself. Now, yeah, wrong item. So some 
Mana down here? Nope. Where's the mana then, I wonder? Because I'm missing one point of mana, which is really weird. Uh, also, I don't think I've mentioned it, but in the description I will have a link to, the, to uh, an archive which has the world and the player for this playthrough. If you guys want to download it and have a world with with uh, an end or an endgame character, the world is nothing special really. I haven't really done many many builds, so I don't know if anyone would want the world itself. But maybe the character is worth it for some who want uh, an endgame summoner or something like that for their collection. Who knows? Give me all the man the mana. So where did it fall then? Did it fall here as well? I don't see it. Oh. Oh, yeah, Dark Mage. Uh, it's from the other side, let me do that. Then come here and do this. Okay, so that's the relic from the dark for the dark mage. Nice. And now we need the ogre and Betsy herself. Which might be a bit annoying. Oh yeah, we also start thing to get defender medals. I don't remember exactly how many you get, but you get a bunch of them if I recall correctly by the end of uh Oh, there we go. Yeah, we already got four. Maybe for like the 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 save file I'm gonna go ahead and farm for the final version of the cane of the flame burst and lightning aura. But I'm not too sure as those are sentries and are kind of rare in uh, usage. That's no guy, I didn't even realize. Let me also take care of it on those side on that side. Don't shoot there. I do wonder, can enemies even make it okay, so flying enemies can make it through, but I think most ground enemies won't be able to make to make it. There's one more ogre. Oh no, oh no 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 nope. Uh, at least it's kind of better because it hit me rather than uh, it hitting the other thingy, uh, the crystal, other thingy. Wow, I'm uh, I'm really good at English, aren't I? I'm ready to bend the medals. Oh, hello. Oh, baby ogre. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, and now there's no, there's the man I was looking for. I didn't place it right. <clears throat> anyway. So now we have that and that. Oh, we had the Therian Eternia crystals on us. I, I didn't realize. Wow. And yeah, because we got to the ma the final wave on the pumpkin one, we have unlocked like one full day of uh, Halloween in game. This is a 1.4 feature, if I recall correctly. Oh, hello! Don't you dare do anything you will regret. Okay, I was kind of close. I didn't realize how many there were left on this side. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff on to collect, actually. So we have this thing. Oh, what? It's a magic weapon, I didn't realize. Oh, we also got a gato egg. Nice. Oh, more? oh hello! If I recall quickly, if we defeat Betsy, um, it's all over. Really? Oh, okay, nice. I was like, uh, I didn't see it happening, so I, 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 I was wondering. So 
Is it really over or not? We got a hundred medals and thirty from the from Betsy's uh, bag. Okay, I I thought it would take much longer to farm for the for the canes, which they are. What? Oh yeah, here they are. They're like a hundred each, but damage increase is insane. What? Wow. Eighty-nine, eight, eighty-nine gold. <laughs> wow. I guess you could translate these into into money when it really when it comes to it. If you really wanted to. Okay, so we can place down the Betsy relic, the ogre relic, and the dark mage relic. Now, yeah, I have two, uh, they're gonna be two open spots, unfortunately. Now, we only need, uh, two more. Yeah, two more. Uh, which both of them are from the, uh, Frostbone, which we're gonna be able to start quite soon, actually. Let me go ahead and, uh, shop and sell you. Uh, I'm not gonna keep these. So that, that, the Gato I got keep on me for... No particular reason. Oh, boom, boom, and boom. Nice. And just out of sheer curiosity, it costs like 89 gold to sell it. How much does it cost to reforge it? 20 gold. Demonic. Nimble. Quick. Oh, oh, keep it at demonic. Don't change it again. Okay, naughty present. Yeah, we can only have like one of them, unfortunately. So here we only really need the uh, relics and then we're pretty much done. After we get the relics. We could just quit the game and... Uh... Uh, and we come back in so that we don't have to go through everything. I might just get to wave 20 if it's not too hard. Which from the looks of it, it shouldn't be since we have the... Uh, don't you dare kill my... Uh... No, don't die. My nurse. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, I think they only drop starting wave 20 or so. Uh, not 20, like 12. They start throw dropping stuff. That's kind of the more annoying part of these events is the fact that the bosses don't really drop stuff in the early waves. Oh, hello. I shouldn't have taken all that HP that dropped and stuff. Yeah, look, see. She didn't really drop anything. Wait, there are three that we need from here? Oh. Oh, it was, uh... Oh, yeah, because we need Everscream, we need Sand Tank, and we need the uh, Ice Cream, yeah. Huh, I guess I'm, uh... I didn't pay much attention, I guess. Yeah, the funny part is because of the Zenith, most classes kind of become, uh... Zenith classes, like you could count Zenith as its own class. Because, uh. No, uh. What? Spike! I, for I forgot that he drops spikes and stuff. Oh my god. Really, dude? One platinum, huh? That's a lot of money. <laughs> I only have my uh, Stardust Crusader. Nah, wait, we already had. No, we didn't have an ice cream. Oh, we got a goodie bag. Wow. Let's spawn these guys. So what else do we need? So we have 
We have every screen a nice queen. Oh no. Please tell me Santanks still spawn. Santan should still spawn. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Razor Pine. Nice. I need literally one uh, Santank to spawn. Oh no. Thank god I didn't get frozen there. There we go. And Santa and Relic. Nice. So those are all the relics that we needed. Now, I guess since we're here already. Uh, sorry for not talking much, it's just I was looking for it on the minimap and I was just uh, trying to focus to not die to anything. So yeah, since we're here, and uh, since we have a zenith and stuff, let's uh, let's just try to get to wave 20, see if we can uh, get the day of Christmas as well. Ooh, thank god I healed there. That wasn't really uh, deadly damage. Okay, I gotta be a bit more careful. So yeah, I think for, like, I'm gonna uh, be done with the episode right after this. I'm gonna do the final entry of this uh, series. Uh, but I will still get the... Hmm, I'm gonna clean uh, this up and then I'm gonna try to get the... Ouch, be careful. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the... Why did it fall through and didn't come to me? Uh, I'm gonna get the... Uh, the flame burst stuff and reforge them and stuff. So have literally everything done and uh, farmed and reforged, which might take a while because I'm gonna need a bunch of money to reforge them. But uh, shouldn't take too long, honestly. So on wave 18. No, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't don't you dare. Ugh, I still love the Master Ninja Gear. The Master Ninja Gear and the Brain of Confusion. <sighs> 483 damage! Sure, my dude, sure. Just, just literally one-shot me. Why don't you? Like, what? I was like, huh, I'm like full HP, it's alright, everything's gonna be great, and then I just take 483 damage. And almost die instantly. Without any sort of... Uh, any sort of uh, outplay potential to go into a bit of League of Legends here. Because the, uh, the spike was covered by gore, so I wasn't able to see it. Okay, wave 19. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, since even these guys don't give me that much. 43, 53, actually, never mind. Which one gives it like 10% almost? Yeah, we're gonna be able to make it to wave 20, here. And once we kill this girl... This... 
Nice. Wake off there, the final wave. Let's see how many points we can get in like an hour. Much money. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. They died a couple times. Yeah, I don't have as much money as I should have. Just die, please. Okay, that's that. Those two are down. That's a sand tank. I just find it funny how in the final, uh, like, uh, wave, it's always just, just bosses, you know? And, like, just bosses, nothing else. I wanna pick up the. Uh, the apples from the ground, the hearts. No, why a solar eclipse? Why in the worst possible time ever? And we don't have the... Can I cancel this somehow? Let me look this up real quick. It's -a me, Mario. Okay, I'm sorry for that one. I, I really shouldn't have. Yeah, uh, I got a plumber's hat, and I'm not sure where I got it. I was uh, waiting in the underworld for the uh, for the eclipse to pass because I was like, I really don't want to think at this point because it's also really uh, late when I'm recording this, and I'm really not up to actual thinking. So, the final things I'm gonna need to do is place these things. And have like one free spot for, uh, I guess there's uh, an odd number of uh, bosses in the game, which have uh, the relics. But uh, yeah, that, that's no real biggie. Now, what I really want, though, is a chest. The one which I would really like to use would be this. Do I have one, uh, like, chest? Yes, I do have. Put all... Deposit all. I wanted the desert chest because I will want to use it as my personal chest. Which I will put down here, right in front of the armory. So, what this is going to be is I will make a copy for the character. But if you guys want to start and come onto the world with an entirely new character, but get a couple um, things from the ones I currently have in my uh, couple of items, from the ones I currently have in my inventory, uh, uh, you will be able to just open the chest and just get out the armor, my vanity, black accessories, or, or stuff like that, but I'm gonna do that once I am um, fully done, which I, th yeah, I just need to do uh, off camera, you know, after I do the outro for this episode, I will get myself the flame burst stuff, and reforge that, and that's going to be it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do much more after this, so... Yeah, it's uh, been an honor to go through an arduous uh, journey. And now we're at the journey's end, as uh, the titulary update says. And uh, yeah, I've went through Terraria many of times before this, but every time I do it, something new surprises me. <laughs> like those first tries on uh, Daytime Empress of Light and uh, Moon Lord in Master Mode, non nonetheless. But yeah, it's uh, been an awesome journey. It's just that the, 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 the pre-hard mode mid-game and the hard mode early game is so annoying. Pre-med bosses, there's so much that can kill you so easily until you get some damage to deal with them. But yeah, otherwise... I'm never gonna play Master Mode again, other than for the for a special series I want to do in the future, which is going to be a very lengthy one. But yeah, 
or if there is something when 1.4 mod it comes out and we need to do master mode but uh, well, that's ways off but the good news is that team Elder, uh, team Elder alpha is getting further into development so that's really good news and yeah i really should stop rambling and uh i thank you all for watching this series and i uh guess i'll see you next time